So hi guys, um, I have been away for a very long time and I am back. Some of you who follow me on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, why? Because really we should be following everybody on Instagram. It's a source of lots of inspiration. It's a source of knowledge. And um, recently I posted some polls asking for you guys to help me create a piece. So I posted a lot of these questions on Insta stories and um, you guys voted and the, I am making this piece based on what you said. So if you want to see me make a piece which I have got no control over what I'm supposed to use, shape, da -da -da -da, all that sort of thing, keep on watching. for a while I have been kind of thinking about what I'm doing with this channel I've been getting some feedback I've been working on new things um, moving twice it's been a struggle first of all problems but still a struggle um, finally in my new place um, and I've procrastinated so much and finally getting around to doing this video so um, what I did about a month ago now, so I apologise. I posted some Insta story um, polls and asked for you guys to help me make this piece by deciding what I was supposed to use, etc., and all that. So uh, the first question was what material? The majority of you said felt. So I have one felt. Um, I've already pre blocked this. Um, because, I mean, one of the questions was, do you want a brim? Yes. Um, and I'll, I'll, you'll see it's all posted here. Um, and you guys were 50-50, whether it was a flat brim or a dome brim. So what I've already done is I've pre-blocked this um, because what I want to do is I want, I don't really want to block on camera. My wrists hurt um, from using computers too much I don't know uh, so yes this has already been pre-blocked um, and left to dry I used um, the dome block from Hat Blocks Direct I could be wrong it'll be in the description box below in fact who is it from Guy Moss Brown so it's their um, block that you can make yourself it's a flat it's a pill box block with a dome top on the top in fact, I've lost my. Uh, I have lost my um, screws for this. So yes, so it comes apart. I've had this years. Um, I have for about six years now. It's a little bit damaged, a little bit, but it still works perfectly fine. So yes, um, very much love this block set, and I don't have a lot of blocks. Uh, but this is definitely one of my favorites. So I've already pre blocked the crown um, with the dome. Now what I actually want to do is use the dome topper to give it just a small, um, just a small crown. I don't want anything too, too high. Um, and I actually haven't added any stiffener to this at all. Um, it's literally just blocked with steam no stiffener i want that softness um I, I don't want it to be hard and rigid so that i haven't used any stiffener at all and all i want to do is just add a bit of steam just to flatten out that brim oh dear hmm um okay Want to get it as close up to that edge as possible.
See, adding steam to this will actually uh, stiffen it ever so slightly, um, which is fine. We don't want it too floppy, but still, we don't want that rigid, like rigidness or that, um, some blocked felts can have. In fact, I can feel this going hard or harder already, and I haven't. What we'll do now is we <coughs> so what we'll do now is we will try and get that as close to the edge as possible. See so slowly, slowly, just keep working your way around. Pushing against the bottom. And the felt will start molding into shape. And this is like a perfect all-in-one piece. You don't have to then cut it. You don't have to um, buy two pieces. Because often when you block, you have to, um, you end up buying Especially when you're doing a brim, I mean, if you do, if you've been doing it a while, I suppose you can figure out, but you know, I uh, tend to buy two hoods or, or uh, cape lines um, if I'm doing a brim. <laughs> Just then I've got enough felt to do both. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm gonna finish this up and then I will get back to you once it's done. Okay, so it's a little later on and the uh, hat has dried. It <coughs> looks something like this. Now there is a little bit of creasing here, but that's not to worry. We can sort that out. We can actually hide that later. So what the plan is, so I don't quite know exactly what I wanted to do. However, I was very, very, very inspired by um, the piece by Amal Clooney at the Royal Wedding. So I'm kind of doing something along that lines. Um, so I have some veiling, some purple veiling here. And I'd like to do something with a veil along the brim like this. Um, so what I've kind of decided to do is start at the back and just pin it to the edge. Now, before I do that, what I want to do is I want to just trim the edges of this. Now I've measured the shortest piece and the shortest piece is around three and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is trim the brim to three and a half inches all the way around so it's nice and even. And then I'm going to cut to the second camera and we're going to attach the veiling onto the piece. So first of all, we're going to mark the back with a pin because I noticed there is a mark just here so we're going to use that we're going to we're going to hide it basically so pin at the back just here and these were the off, off cuts of from the brim so we're actually going to use these later on um, And we'll just 
use them and put them on the side of the hut or something like that but first of all we need to attach the brim um not the brim the veiling so what i was thinking was so so i've got two meters i believe of veiling here and i found the center I'm going to attach that to the back and then attach the veil in. Coming onto the hat about three quarters of an inch and just pinning that into place. It's very quiet here. I like this new place. For those of you that um, are interested, so I moved recently. I moved from South London. So now I'm in East London. And yeah, it's, uh, it's very different. It's very different here in East. Um, it reminds me very much of home where I'm from originally which is York now you might be able to hear I live across the road from a pub um, which is quite record um, not good for recording um, especially as I'm recording this at the clock says 21.47 so I have a feeling in a just over an hour or well, about an hour and a half there's going to be a lot of noise coming from the pub over the road but it's really nice during the day there's a lovely market so yeah um, we sadly had to move out of the last place i mean i say sadly i didn't feel at ease in that place anyway but they say moving is one of the most one of the most stressful uh things you can do so i'm not too sure why sirius just decided to start pinging but something I said Siri seemed to like so yeah um yeah it's one of the most divorce which my divorce came through this year so for those of you that don't know I used to be married and no longer am so the Mr. Westwood Hill I always joke about the other Mr. Westwood Hill, like that isn't my actual husband, that's my current boyfriend who is lovely and adoring and and all of the above, so yeah. But that's enough about that because we have just about finished this brim. So when you get to the front of the of the piece what you want to do is as it comes up just gather and place a pin and do the same with this side Gather and see that does just doesn't oh, okay. no, that's why. Gather yes and place a pin to secure. 
Now what you want to do is just place a small stitch all along this edge because this veiling will be secured very much like this so as you can see I'm wrapping it round and I'm just securing it into place with a pin just to hold that in so the front angle will look something like this so with the veiling parting and at the front and overlapping as you go around as you can see so i am going to stitch this into place and then we'll be ready for the next section Sorry for the audio, but my audio on this cut out, so I'm recording this as I'm editing. So as you can see here, I am pleating the um, the ribbon, so bringing it in two inches, and then the next piece half an inch. And what this will do, this will give me a, re a very regular pleats that we can then stitch around the base of the crown. And then here, um, instead of pinning top and bottom, I'm just pinned at the bottom of the pleat. And then once all the pleats were pinned into place, I then went round and I just stitched the bottom, not the top, just the bottom of each pleat. So it kind of flared out a little bit towards the top. Um, I just thought this looked a little bit nicer. And um, yeah, so I didn't want to give like a stiff pleat all the way around the base of the crown right guys it's the next day and I was up until about three o'clock in the morning finishing this and obviously another tutorial that's coming up in the next couple of weeks as well so it was a late night it's now currently one o'clock in the afternoon um, and yeah so off camera it made a few changes um, and this is the final piece now what we have done and i say ro the royal way because it's just me i've taken off the resin piece because it just wasn't working it didn't look right it's the wrong color it just it, it didn't look right at all so instead we have just added some crystals to here and obviously you can see them glittering they're beautiful not too many we all know I love crystals um, so let's just have a quick rundown on did I meet this challenge did I use everything that you said um, did I do it exactly how you guys picked so first of all felt check done uh, domed crown so that was 50 50 so I got to choose so that is what I've got uh, clashing colors now these are quite these are uh, complementary colors is it complementary these are colors that are opposite side of the color wheel so technically they're clashing um, and I do like this color combo very much this is my favorite favorite color combo of all time um, and I don't really it's nice it's nice to, I love it when I see people make things eight cats jewelry whatever and it's in this color combo it's really nice so that's a check um, because you wanted clashing colors. Uh, what else? We had beads. Now there were beads, um, but they're not on this final piece. So sadly I didn't do that. Feather work, no. Um, no, I didn't want to put feathers on. It just, it just I thought it would spoil the look. Um, crystals, check. Obviously we all like crystals. That's one thing you asked for and yeah and some ribbon work if um so yeah we've added the ribbon what else was that beads crystals ribbon you said no to fringe i'm kind of glad you said no to fringe um I, had you said yes to fringe i probably would have found pebble fringe and done fringe along the edge here so yeah 
Thanks for watching guys, it's really nice to be on YouTube again. Um, I will be uploading a lot more frequent than I have been. Promise, promise, promise. I have a few things in store, I have tutorials. I was, like I say, I've got another one that I have just filmed last night. So there will be more tutorials. I just filmed this and another one last night. Um, and I've got an, a few more in mind coming up, um, like a few more different styles of tutorials. So if you liked this different way of how I present this video, then give me a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.